with our pico pico de gallo on there we got pickles we got mustard um what else red onions we got pickles on the side we got uh, mozzarella and pepper jack cheese on a turkey patty we have ranch uh quest protein chips and we have the wicked blue citrus flavor water from mio and yeah, y'all, who is ready for this mother flipping mug bang? It's about to go down. What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it. Yeah, it's been a long time since I did this. Um, we're drinking Wicked Blue Citrus Flavor Water today. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for the mother flipping muck bang? <laughs> it's gonna be messy. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. How I missed you. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It's piping hot. And I wipe my mouth until after. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This is too good. Mmm. Who does it? Let's wrap better. <laughs> Waspers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 
It's so good. That was totally worth it. <laughs> These Quest Ranch chips are really good. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Y'all, look at my hair. It's literally reverting in front of y'all's face. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing this today, but I didn't do it yesterday. Mm. Yes, ma'am. So, y'all, we're supposed to be going live after this video for a little bit. Just to feel everybody out, you know. <clears throat> y'all, my hair is probably going to be in a ponytail by the time I get on live, honey, because this is making me really upset what it's doing to me right now some reason today i'm sweating a little bit more than what i normally do maybe it's because it's that time i don't know. that that's probably what it is <clears throat> mm. but it's really annoying it came at the wrong time <laughs> Thirsty. <laughs> Who saw the eclipse? Like, literally, y'all. Uh, it came. Um, I was up, but the only thing that happened where I was was that it um it um was, it looked like it was about to rain. That's it. That's literally how dark it got. It was like, like overcast looking. That's what it looked like. Um, it got just a little bit darker. And then after it was over with, a little bit of sun came out. And then the sun came out just for a tiny bit of time. And then it was gone. Who seen the actual eclipse? Let me know in the comments. And was it, like, groundbreaking for you? Because I was watching these videos of people that um, were filming it. And they was acting like it was the second coming or something. Like, Jesus was coming. Like, he, God was on his way or something. Like, people was crying. Y'all, I swear, I don't understand it. I really don't. This lady was hollering, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Like, I'm like, does she think that the Lord is coming right now or what? It was like people were afraid. And they were just emotional. I just didn't know where the emotion comes from. It was just, I don't know, it was a little strange to me. Why people was acting like that. I've never known people to act like that over an eclipse. Um... Let me see if I can find the uh <laughs> the video, y'all. It was actually funny of this lady yelling. Uh, is it still here? It should be. Cause I didn't erase it and it didn't get deleted. Uh where is it? Oh my god. I literally saved it so I could show y'all. Is this it? This is so this is it. cool. Oh my god. Listen to this lady, y'all. I read an awful. Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh, I got it. 
Jesus, I got it. Lord, I got it. Goodness. My body is shaking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everyone is silent. Oh, my God. I can feel my heart beating through my chest. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow, it's about to happen. Wow. Right there. Right there. Wow. 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Wow. Wow, Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth! No. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's dark! It is completely dark! Oh! You have to see this! Woo! Lord! This is beautiful! Jesus! I peeped for a second. Wow! Everyone is silent! Wait! It feels like crap jaw! Wow. Wow, why is everyone silent? Am I the only one left? Alive? Jesus. She said, am I the Jesus. only one left? <laughs> Where is everybody? Where is everyone? Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Wow. 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 Merciless now. I was like, didn't we just have an eclipse like a couple years ago? And then that's when he told me that there's a different types of eclipses, y'all. I didn't know that. There's like a lunar one, there's a solar one, and I don't know which one it was that we had back then. Anyway, but this one was supposed to be like the big, the big one. Um, I mean, they're not all. It seems like they're all the same because the moon passes over the sun. And then uh, I was also confused also as to how does the move the moon pass over the sun so fast? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything in space, like, goes really, really, like, slow. Um, But the moon, in our eyes, like, it goes across the the sun, like, really fast. It's, it's over within a couple of minutes. Like they said, like, what, four minutes um i don't know it's just strange to me how that happens but i'm sure i could look it up but i was just you know telling y'all but anyway did y'all enjoy <laughs> i just don't think it's a big deal honestly Especially, I really wouldn't be that one to be traveling somewhere to see it. I guess those are like adventurous type of people. Because, I mean, I'm adventurous, but I would not—I would never travel anywhere to see a, an eclipse. Mm -mm. Am I in full? Excuse me. Mmm. Y'all, I'm doing my video earlier today. I'm so proud of myself. 
It's literally way earlier than what I do, usually do it. Um, let me go ahead and get with these topics real quick so I can read y'all's comments. Um, okay. Y'all, I know that y'all have heard about this young lady that is going viral for some comments that she made. That she had the nerve to get on the internet, record, and put out there. Like, it was cool. Y'all, I couldn't believe my ears. Listen to this. So Beyonce released Cowboy Carter, her country album, and it's doing very well. But some people have a problem with it. It's okay if it's not your cup of tea. It sure is. You don't even like country music. Right. It's not okay is if you think the problem is that black people don't belong in country music. I'm sorry, but you're black. You're not country. I, I don't care. Like, and, and I wish... Now, tell me this, okay, what does that have to do with singing country music? Like, what does that have to do with it? Us uh, being slaves way back then, what does that have to do with black people singing country music? Why does it make us not be able to indulge in something that we created like huh why are we not country why not why, why we can't sing the country music that we created you know what i'm saying very much informed young lady very much informed i mean i'm sorry uninformed young lady she's in college um and you already know what they're trying to do you already know uh like she honestly I feel like she knew better than saying that. She might not know the history that she needs to know, but I feel like she knew better than saying that because she was like, I'm sorry, I don't care. You know, she knew that she shouldn't have said that. Like, why would you, like, oh my God, anybody in their right mind in the world, in the state that this world is in, why would you say something like that? Unless you're just an outright R word. Anyway, so. Beyonce's internet and thought everything was going to be okay. We're going to get back to her. But let's get this out of the way. Country music would not exist without black people. If you knew anything about the genre that you claim to care so much about, you would know that hillbilly music, which is what became country music. What happened was, the reason that it was called, uh, changed to hillbilly music, because guess who took over it? And, and change the name to Hillbilly. Okay? Just like, you know, the colonizers go and they do everything. They steal it and they change the name like they came up with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they were the originators of it. Like, how you gonna gatekeep something that you did not even start? Like, I just want to know, like, when did, when did that happen? I wonder, like, when? When did that happen? Because um, I heard from our history that we, we as black people, taught them, the colonizers, uh, about country music and, and how to play the, ban the banjo because the banjo, that instrument, comes from Africa, okay? Because when the Africans were stolen... Um, they came over with their instruments, is is what I was told, okay, from history, from the history. Um, but, it, I don't know, it's just so funny to me how <laughs> the colonizers can get upset, can get upset because we're singing country freaking music. I'm so glad Beyonce did that freaking album. 
to shake some shit up. Like I'm so glad. And then in every other black person that that's doing country music also. Like we need some more country people to come back. Hey, Michelle. Um, I remember. I don't. I don't know how many people was was back in K. Michelle when she um wanted to start singing country music. So I heard that she's always wanted to sing country music, but she's actually in it right now. Like people love her. Um, I don't listen to it because honestly, I'm not a big fan of country music. My mom is. Um, but I'm not a big fan of, of country music. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of boring <laughs> to me. Like, mm, I, I think I, I've, I've liked a couple of songs. I can't remember the names of any of them, but, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I just remember country mu music being boring to me and I just didn't like it. Um, I didn't like listening to it. But anyway, listen. Was directly inspired by the spirituals and field songs of black slaves that they have been creating and singing for hundreds of years. Who was picking that cotton? One even better. The banjo is a black instrument. The modern day banjo is a descendant of the West African instrument made from chords called the Akonting. When enslaved persons were taken from Africa to America, their instruments came with them. For 400 years, enslaved people created their own music, hymns, spirituals, and field songs, all with roots in African music. Accordingly, in the 1840s, the banjo was seen exclusively as a black instrument. It was unheard of for a white person to play the banjo. No black people. No country music. But apparently, Ozza Banton, the Indiana State University student who made that video, didn't get the memo. And I've had a bunch of other students from that school reach out to me because she posted this right after that album was released. And literally, like, what, two weeks went by? And Indiana State University didn't seem to have shit to say about it. <laughs> now, the other day, they did finally kind of say something about it. They put a statement buried at the bottom of the student newsletter it basically said, we're aware of a video. Real smart letters. Monitoring it does not align with our personal views. Guess what? The students who have been reaching out to me, that's not enough for them. That's why you had protests on campus yesterday. And I think you can expect a lot more and I will until fight. you take some sort of real action and make a real statement and draw a line in the sand that says, if you are going to think and act this way, you can find another school to attend. So Beyonce released Cowboy Carter, her country album, and it's doing very well. But some people have a problem with it. It's okay. So they're just wanting um, her to be accountable for what she said. Now, I don't, I don't know if she should, ne you know, necessarily, you know, get kicked out of school for that. What y'all think? I just, I don't know. It's something about, like, people losing their jobs and... But I don't know. I don't feel sorry for her. At all. Like, she know what she did was, was wrong. She knows it. That's why she said, I'm sorry, but I don't care. Like, she didn't care. So I literally shouldn't even care what the frick happens to her. But, um... Um... You know, I don't. I I know that she she needs to, you know, apologize publicly, um, or you know maybe be suspended, you know, so she can learn her lesson. But I don't know to be kicked out of uh college. I don't know, y'all. I don't know about that. What y'all think? What do y'all think about that? But that was horrible and racist what she said. Very much racist what she said. Um, you know? I don't know. I got to think about it. Honestly. I have to think about it. Because she's not, she's not a child. <laughs> He knows the difference between right and wrong. She's in college. She's not stupid. 
She sure was acting stupid though. But it was a lot of people making videos, you know, like hers, not as bad as hers, but just saying that Beyonce needs to stay in her genre, whatever, you know. Beyonce can do whatever the hell she want to do, just like anybody else can. You know, don't nobody say nothing when, well, whatever, anyway. <clears throat> anyway, y'all, my hands are a mess. I am done with this, but I could eat some more, honestly. I could. <laughs> but I just gotta keep wiping my hands. Oh, that's what I should have did. Mmm. It's so good. Y'all know I still haven't drove my car yet. <laughs> I still ain't drove it, y'all. It's almost like it ain't even out there. Like, I was so used to not having a car. my hands. This is out of control. Out of control. And then we'll get to the rest of the topics and read y'all's comments. Yeah, because I'm full. Alright, y'all. We trying to get the daggone wine bottles open. I'm not sure they're trying to um get them open for this uh, little live that I'm about to do. But anyway, okay, so, um, update on the, the cruise passengers that were left in Africa, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was, apparently, it was more than just that couple that, uh, the news did that interview with. Um, it was some more people. Um, so they're finally back on their original boat they had to like fly to where was it stranded on a small african oh, island have finally rejoined the norwegian dawn you open them? they okay. were left behind on Thank the you. remote my, island uh, of sao tome off africa last wednesday only now after a six-day odyssey on land sea and air they finally reboarded the cruise liner in senegal senegal Australian oh, viola sanders and her husband senegal. doug say the entire experience was a nightmare. It's been the, the worst experience of our lives to be abandoned like that in a strange country, can't speak the language, it's Portuguese and African, we have no money. Um, our credit cards are <laughs> Portuguese accepted. and African. Violetta can be seen struggling to get on board the tender boat only to be turned back by the captain of the Norwegian and wouldn't even Don, let her get on. who refused to let them back on his ship because they were an hour late. Americans Jill and Jay Campbell from North Carolina were also stranded. They have also reboarded in Senegal. I believe that they really forgot that they are people working in the hospitality Anyway, industry. we didn't already heard that, but anyway, they got back on the boat. Y'all already know they're not gonna be cruising. They're not gonna be cruising no more. Do you know one of those couples were a whole hour late? An hour. <sighs> anyway, I know they learned a good old lesson. Um, the city girls are fighting, y'all. JT, um, uh, Saucy Santana, and Miami. Saucy Santana's starting to get on my nerves. I used to like him. 
But he is literally starting to get on my everlasting nerve. It just seems like he's always in women's business all the time. And I'm just like, mind your freaking business. Make some music. I like the music that he makes, but he's just... It just seems like he's... Uh, whatever Miami is in, he's in it. Like, he needs to let uh, JT and Miami hash out whatever is going on with them. Um, I believe Miami... Felt like JT was sneak, sneak dissing her or whatever, y'all, with that song that she had put out. Because y'all know uh, JT is is uh, doing her little solo thing right now. I thought the City Girls was done with. But, um, y'all, oh my God, gnats are over here because this wine is open. <sighs> Deal with me, y'all. Lord. Uh, okay. Why before the summer starts did they start beefing? And just like that, y'all, it looks like the city girls are over. Now, Young Miami and JT have been going back and forth on Twitter, so I'm going to read you the thread. Now, Young Miami starts off and says, for you to come on here and try to play victim as crazy, Jatavia, who happens to be JT, you have been sneak dissing me for the last couple of days, and I haven't said ish back to you. You made two whole songs dissing me, and I still wrapped your ish with my chest and showed love. So what's the real problem here? Now, JT replied back and said, which songs was about you? Then JT requote tweeted it again and followed up and says, Girl, the which internet told you about that which songs was about you. The one saying, it's City Girl-ish, even if it ain't City Girl-ish. That was released under City Girls. Or the one that says, riding solo, but I'm still in the group, question mark. She said, get your phone You know what? I did want to know what that meant, though. Riding solo, but I'm still in the group. What does that mean? Exactly. If you know, you're either in the group or you're not in the group and you're doing your solo thing. I don't know. I didn't get that part. From whoever this is, baby, don't play with me. That young Miami replies back and says, uh, JT, basically your song No Bars and Sideways are about me. JT replies back and says, Oh wow, you're really losing it. If you thought this, why not speak to me about it? You came on here and said LOL so people can ask you why you wasn't defending me, attention seeking as usual. Now Karish replies back and says, She's trying to kick me while I'm down. And y'all know she's been down bad for a couple of days. Play to the narrative is dangerous when I've been nothing but a friend to you. JT replies back and says, you looking for a way out of your situation. Who was the first person called you when it started? And I'm assuming she means about the whole Diddy stuff. She says you're a sad fucking case. Now somebody by the name of Sleaze Mirage, who happens to be from a specific camp, said JT had two girls thinking no bars was about them. Sagittarius really so powerful, bro. <laughs> and Carisha was not having it because she said, shut your big, big head little body up. Now, I don't care if Carisha is beefing with someone and JT beefing with someone. I don't care about that. But when they start beefing with one another, see, we got a problem. Really? This is our it's summer ridiculous. music. We don't have any now if they break up. It's like, it's like the end of the Migos. See, I thought Back they were already broken they up. They're back and forth. I thought they was already broken up. I, maybe they did. I don't know what is going on. I really haven't been looking forward to them coming out with any type of song. Honestly, did y'all see the tape that came out about um with the what's her name in there? The redhead girl that I don't enjoy her rap. Um, what is her name, y'all? Oh my gosh. Um. What is the redhead girl name? The one with the, her hair look like Annie. Her, anyway, did y'all see that freaking tape? Y'all probably didn't, but I accidentally saw it on TikTok. I don't know how they were able to upload that onto TikTok, but girl, I wonder who leaked that. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Y'all, mm. Anyway, um... Hold up. Um, okay. Diddy's son. The one that looked just like him, y'all. Somebody's bringing charges. Y'all, let me... Here you go, right here. I'm not a lawyer, but I read Listen all 31 pages of the latest lawsuit filed in the Diddy universe. Christian so let me recap Combs. what's being alleged. If you no. haven't watched uh -oh. my last video, please go watch it before you continue on with this video. Okay, so the attorney that filed this lawsuit is Tyrone Blackburn on behalf of a woman named Grace. And the suit is filed against Christian Combs, who Christian the lawsuit Combs. notes is a 25-year-old auto-tuned and heavily edited rapper. Oh, that's messed up. 
And <laughs> before listing out details for the next defendant, who is Sean Combs, the lawsuit says, quote, unfortunately, as the saying has it, the apple does not fall from the tree. Sean Combs has been accused of several acts of essay violence and other deplorable conducts and is the father of Christian Combs, who has seemingly taken after his father and, and the family business of reckless partying, violence, and other illegal conduct. There's also some other John and Jane Doe's who are listed as defendants. Okay, so when you get to the allegations in this lawsuit, it says that Grace was a stewardess in the yachting industry. And in December of 2022, she and her team were informed that they had been hired to work on a particular yacht during the holiday period. And it turns out that the person who chartered that yacht was Diddy. So while on the yacht, Grace works the shift from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., which included dinner and drink service for the guests. The suit says that the makeup of the yacht quickly evolved from just Diddy and his family to a constant rotation of suspected sex workers and other A-list celebrities. The suit continues on to say that Allegedly. Grace found it very suspicious that after one shot of Delion tequila or one mixed drink, various women on the yacht would be falling over themselves, panicking or passing out, which led her to reasonably believe that the alcohol given to these women was likely laced. It then says that Grace was aware that Rodney Jones, a producer who was employed to work on the Love album, quote, was required to be on standby for musical recordings often late into the night. So on or about the early morning of December 28th, 2022, Grace is told that Christian Combs was coming over to the yacht to record in the yacht's makeshift recording studio. So the suit alleges that Christian came over and was heavily intoxicated, but that didn't stop him from ordering more shots. And then the paragraph reads, quote, And Nick Christian Combs was playing Cassie's Me and You in the background. Cassie was an artist under S. Combs and was his former love interest who also accused S. Combs of S.A. And, and mental abuse. So Christian, according to this lawsuit, asked Grace to bring him some shots. And then, and then, according to her, he started pressuring her to take shots from a bottle that he may have brought on board with him. She says out of wanting to be polite, she took them. But then, according to her, Christian insisted that she stay chatting in the studio and sit beside him. Grace says that she asked to leave, but Christian allegedly became aggressive to the point that he, quote, violently grabbed her arm and began hurting her. He pulled her to the seat beside him and prevented her from getting up. He then forced her to take another shot. The suit continues on to allege that Christian touched Grace's body and also tried to kiss her neck, face, and hands. Grace says she doesn't remember everything because of the alcohol, but she alleges that Rodney Jones has an audio recording of the incident. And then they provide what? a transcript of some of the incident that seems to be based on the recording that Rodney Jones allegedly has. So after the incident, Grace says that she left the studio, and but a short time later, Christian called for her and, quote, demanded that she find him a place to sleep on the yacht. So she ends up directing him to the movie room, which has one door to exit and enter. Grace says that she entered the room, but then she alleges Christian blocked her from leaving it. According to the lawsuit, she then went into a corner of the room and Christian became, quote, physically and extremely aggressive. He cornered her and started to touch her. He then undressed himself and tried some other stuff. But Grace says she began fighting him and then her partner, who was on board with her, came in the room, which is how she was finally able to leave. The following day, Grace says that she told the captain, but he only berated and scolded her about the incident. And then assigned her to work front of the house, which required personally serving Christian Combs while they continued to be on the yacht. The suit also alleges what? that the captain received a generous tip from Diddy in order to keep him quiet. In what seems to be a signature for Tyrone Blackburn lawsuits, this lawsuit also includes redacted names and footnotes about who those people really are. It also has some other allegations with some names redacted. Grace says that she has suffered greatly as a result of this incident, including losing her partner, falling into a depression, and other things, which is why she's suing for assault, battery, SA, premises liability, which is specifically against Diddy since he was the one that leased the yacht, aiding and abetting, which is also against Diddy because according to this lawsuit, Diddy knew that an assault was being or going to be committed because he encouraged Crazy. and fostered an environment and culture to his son and employees to do whatever they want to the yep. young staff. Some of the other causes of action includes intentional infliction of emotional distress and negative infliction of emotional distress. She's asked for a jury trial, so like the other lawsuits, we will see how this plays out. As always, This is crazy. The apple does not fall far from the freaking tree. That is horrible. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, skirts. Um... Anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and 
read y'all's comments. Remember that video that I let y'all see uh, yesterday of that lady screaming and crying and stuff? Guess what that was about, y'all? It was because of the eclipse. That is what she was yelling about. This is what I heard. Now, y'all let me know if y'all know anything different. I'm about to check these comments anyway, so y'all probably told me in the, in the comments. But from what I know, that's what it was about. It was about the eclipse. I guess she, you know, might have thought the Lord was coming. Like a lot of people thought that the Lord was coming um, during that eclipse. Uh, but yeah, the Lord is coming. But he wasn't coming that day. Like, we're not going to know when he comes. Like, I don't know why people think that they're going to know. Nobody is going to freaking know when the Lord comes. Um, okay. Uh-oh. Um. Okay, so Leslie, Leslie says, I think that's how you say your name. Um, says, are those press-on nails? Yes, they are press-on nails. I wear nothing but press-on nails. I don't do nothing else on my fingers. Um, <laughs> Poetic Beauty 8259 says, blue nails plus blue drink equals sensory overload. <laughs> Beautiful. Love the crunch too. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Come on. Y'all, I can barely do anything with these mugs, but I freaking love this color. Like, this is my favorite, one of my favorite colors uh, to have on my nails. Um, the real Netta sends fire emojis. Thank you, girl. Um, let's see. Uh, Joe Collin. Oh. Y'all seen that? Sorry. Joe Collins 6967 says, Hey, boo. Um, why do you always say girl? <laughs> because I'm a girl and I'm talking to my girls. That's why. <laughs> uh, he also says, Hey, yummy. What's up with a seafood boy? Yes, it's coming. It's coming. Um, what's today? Uh, I'll probably, I'll do one tomorrow. We could do it tomorrow. Um, Tawana, girl, where have you been? Okay, uh, Tawana Jackson, 2814 says, Uche, yes, girl, Uche, um, S. Oh, no, no, girl, I was about to say that all wrong. Uche, season five, love is blind, is so annoying, girl. Isn't he annoying? What was wrong with him? He was acting like a, uh, a messy girl or something. Just messy. I, just, he, he didn't want nobody to be, if he couldn't be happy, he didn't want nobody to freaking be happy. I could not believe he was acting like that. Like, and I'm so glad. Uh, what is his name? The guy, the tall, skinny one um, that married the, the Latina girl. I am so glad that he stood on his two feet and was like, no, I'm not going to let... You, you know, um, sway me, you know what I'm saying, from getting married to my wife, because they are married now, um, because of all of these horrible things that you're saying. Like, Uche should have felt really stupid when he watched that episode or, or just that season back. Like, he literally, uh, oh my God. And it, oh, girl, I'm sorry, I gotta finish reading your uh comment. She says, Love Blind, so annoying. When it came to Aaliyah letting him know she cheated two years ago with her ex, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I would have caught in attitude, like, sir, that was two years ago. Do you know what, girl? I must have went to the bathroom or something. I don't know, but I didn't see that part when she told him that she cheated on her ex-boyfriend. I just, afterwards, um, I had uh, heard her say when I told him I cheated on my ex-boyfriend. I didn't even see that part. So I might have to go back and just and watch, watch that little part because I don't remember seeing that part. Anyway, um, uh, him know she uh, cheated two years ago with her ex. I don't know. I would have caught an attitude like, sir, that was two years ago. And you're not that same man, so why 
you really grilling me like this. So he was grilling her about uh, cheating. See, he was probably thinking, well, she cheated on her ex-boyfriend. Well, she's probably going to cheat on me too. I mean, and that is a possibility. Honestly, we're just being honest. You know, of course people grow and all that there. But when you meet somebody, you know, for the first time, and you're getting to know them and they tell you something like that, you're going to think up oh, red flag. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to watch that part. I got to watch it. He probably was annoying, though. Um, I'd say, man, so why you uh, really, really mean like that? I would have been like, okay, so what you trying to do then? Because I couldn't. <laughs> I guess he was just giving her a hard time the entire time and he was really over it though when uh she had just left that was annoying though for me too when she left but i kind of understood why she left because she didn't want to be in that uncomfortable situation can you imagine your best pod friend is his ex-girlfriend and she's giving you all of this information that you're literally telling her, I don't want to know because you're ruining my experience. And she kept on telling her things about this man. Like, it's like she didn't get it. Like, you know, even though Aaliyah kept telling her, not, do not tell me all of this stuff. You're ruining my experience. Like, I have to get to know this man. I don't want you telling me everything about him. Anyway, she was spilling all the freaking beans about that man. Anyway, and then they ended up meeting. I didn't think that they was ever going to meet because uh, Uche was like, uh, he doesn't ever want to see her again, ever. And he ended, I think the only reason he met her, met up with her, is to let her know that he didn't want to talk to her no more. And he just, he wanted to vent and then at the end tell her that he, you know, doesn't want her after she poured her heart out to him that y'all i was like wow when she was doing it i was like wow like that was brave of her because baby when i tell you that that couldn't have been me <laughs> i was sorry i couldn't have poured my heart out to him like that without knowing that he at least wanted to have something to do with me you know what i'm saying like but, and then just to let her down on national TV like that, it was just like, really? Talking about, I, I, I think that it's over. It, it's over, you know. Just because, like, he, I think he should have understood her position and why she left. You know, she, I don't feel like she should have left. And to him, that was like a red flag. Like, what if things start getting bad in, in our marriage or whatever? What are you going to do then? Leave? You know what I'm saying? And I understand his thinking and why or whatever. But I don't know. Like, I feel like he should have gave her another chance. I, I really feel like he should have gave her another chance. But you know what? I feel like she dodged a bullet. She dodged a bullet. She's in a nice uh, relationship right now because I watched the reunion. She's in a good relationship right now. I wish we could have met him. Um, she met him, girl, on a cruise and she went on, uh, was it a cruise? I think it was a cruise. Yeah. Some type of a, a jazz cruise or something, something like that. Anyway, he, the, the guy that she's with now, he went on that cruise by himself and she went on that cruise by herself. Isn't that freaking weird? Like what? Girl, I couldn't have went on a cruise by myself. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Y'all let me know in the comments. Can you go like, would you ever go on a cruise by yourself? Like, I wouldn't. Mm -mm. I gotta have somebody there. But yeah, girl, he was annoying, honey. After what's the name left? Aaliyah left. He just, ugh. Jeez Louise. And he wasn't even cute. Like, can we just say that? <laughs> Not at all, in my opinion. Not at all. Like, mm-mm, honey. <laughs> Not cute, Uche. Like, Uche. Anyway. Um, Zenzone Zeal 569 says, Don't worry, yummy. We understand. What was, what was it? 
Uh, Jazz1959 says, watch season 12 of Married at First Sight. Had more drama than any season of Love is Blind. It will make your blood boil. <gasps> it's going to make my blood boil, girl. Married at First Sight. Do I have my pen? Because, girl, I'm not going to remember. Um, let me just take a screenshot. Okay, so thank you for letting me know. I didn't I hadn't even heard of that show. Um Tawana Jackson says, now you got me skipping season two and four and going straight to five for Love is Blind. Now you said that you what you you said you had started watching and that you wasn't gonna let you had to turn it off. So I didn't even think that you was gonna watch. But girl, I have watched every single season. Like I'm done with all of the seasons. I just gotta go back and watch that little part. With uh, Uche and uh, Aaliyah. But, girl, I thought she wasn't watching them, though. But watch all of them. Literally, all of the seasons are good. All of them, okay? Make sure you watch the first season, too. Just watch all of them. Watch all of them if you got the time. Uh, Tawana Jackson also said, uh, I would have ruined everything. <laughs> We don't need your baby mama to go on a trip. <laughs> oh, oh, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. We don't need your baby mama to go on a trip. Dude, we could have took the kids by ourselves. Exactly. I should have said that. Yes, though. Okay? Ain't no way I could have stayed my black ass home if uh, that's what it was going to be. Because now, me and your baby mama about to be into it because <laughs> I'm not about to sit here and act like shit good when it ain't. I know that's the flip right. I know that's right. I, I, like I said, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I wouldn't have and I know it. And I don't care if anybody think it's wrong. I, I wouldn't have been able to put myself in that type of position. Especially without him informing me that this was gonna happen girl i would have been done with him honestly you know what i'm saying like girl um and she said come on now uh me and your baby mom about to be into it because i'm not about to sit here and act like shit good when it ain't now the whole trip ruined for everybody and that's what that girl was saying honestly before he cut off the cameras um he was like she was like she ain't had nothing to say to him Nothing at all. Because I'm trying to figure out, like, what would I have to say, too? Like, I would literally leave the room and go and do my own thing. Forget him. You know what I'm saying? He can go. Like she said, you can go on with your baby mama and the kids. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have had nothing to say. Nothing to say to him. Um, Deborah Cooper says tacos looks delicious yummy thank you girl they were good they were so good um <laughs> user h uh what is that l a d i eight two two oh nine z says you got me uh yummy i'm gonna make them black people tacos <laughs> the damn mm, and the crunch got me i just gotta try them girl they good they are so good. I was getting a little lip about calling them um, black people tacos on Instagram. I guess they haven't heard of it. Because, y'all, anyway, I got that term from uh, TikTok. Because it's actually something viral that's going around TikTok. Uh, people saying that the kind of tacos that I normally make are called black people tacos. Because... Um, and they're calling them black people tacos is because of how we make them. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the meat, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, you know, sometimes guacamole, sour cream, and all that. When you eat a authentic Mexican taco, it's normally in uh, either a, a soft corn, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, shell tortilla, or a, um, a flour tortilla that's warmed up with meat, cilantro, and onions. And that's it. No cheese, none of that. That's an authentic Mexican taco. So, I guess somebody said, well, I guess these are black tacos. I don't know who came up with that term, but 
it's just viral on TikTok right now, so I decided to call mine Black People Tacos. Um, just in case anybody was wondering, Melissa Gadsden 4771 says, loving the Black People Tacos. Yummy. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Um, Melissa also says, those tacos look yummy, freaking delicious, girl. They were. They were so good. And I actually had that one left over, remember? And I ate it today, and it was just... Yes, ma'am. I just warmed it up and it was delicious. Um, Alicia Cruz5957 says, Black people tacos. LOL. They sure look yummy, girl. They were, girl. Uh, Prin Paz9063 says, Okay, you did that because you look incredible. What? Thank you, girl. You are the definition of aging in reverse. At Yummy Bites TV. Wow. Thank you. What? Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Um, Dara R3431 says, yummy, freaking delicious. I'm so glad y'all be happy for Taco Tuesday, too. I be just as happy. Uh, Etroy2045 says, about the baby mama drama and the trip uh with my girlfriend. That would be a no-go for me, first of all. He does not respect the girlfriend by calling her bro. Okay. Okay, don't you hate that? Like, I hate that. I don't like it when anybody calls my kids, girl. That <clears throat> boils my blood. Okay? When they say that. I can't. I don't like it when Merch Show says it to me. Bro? Like, don't call me bro. Like, don't call me that. I can't stand it, y'all. I can't. Um, second of all, he should have told the girlfriend before they left to allow her to decide if she's going. Exactly. Since him and his baby mama teamed up and got the family package and paid half and half like he said. You know what I'm saying? Why didn't you think to tell your girlfriend that? You know, like, girl... I would have been done. Um, third, uh, why couldn't he go with the girlfriend and the kids and left the baby mama at home? Mm, exactly. I had a similar scenario happen to me where the baby mama told uh, my now husband that... Y'all, hold up. That the baby mom... Hold up, y'all. Let me find my place. That the baby mama told my now husband that the only way he could see the kids is if he paid for her to come to. See, that's the type of shit. That's that, you know, like, girl. Mm. This was when we lived in California and the kids lived in, um, in California. But I dared my husband to even consider it. I know that's the girl but i oh my god i was like why did you even bring this up there is no fucking way that was gonna happen like and yeah just for him to even bring it up like what <laughs> anyway <laughs> i told him to fly to florida to see them if he wanted to see them it was going to be cheaper anyway lol <laughs> Happening. Let me know, girl. What ended up happening? Oh my god. I feel like my nose is running for some reason. <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> girl, folks is crazy. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Um. Etroy 2045 says. The young lady was prophesying that there is going to be a massacre that will happen in Dallas, Texas, and for us to seek the Lord. So if it happens to you, your soul will be saved. Is that what that was? I had a feeling that she uh, was thinking that, you know, the Lord was, was coming. Um, 
But anyway, she says, yes. I Oh, E. Troy also said, yes, I saw all of the seasons of Love is Blind. I still say the first season was my favorite. I remember that couple in season five, and she got on my nerves. Which one are you talking about? The entire season. I found myself talking to the TV. <laughs> Girl, I talked to the TV the entire freaking season. I thought I was, I was literally down here, talk, like, girl, I was saying all kind of, y'all, I should have recorded it when I was talking. I was literally talking to the TV. That is so funny that you say that because I was doing the same thing. It was irritating the love out of me. I mean, And I hope you're talking about the girl whose daddy got a lot of money. Her family got a lot of money. Her. She was getting on my nerves so bad. Like, what was wrong with her? Like, oh, my God. The man was trying his best. And then you're going to tell him no at the altar? Yeah, she was the one. Yeah. Going to tell him no. And he was trying his freaking best. I'm so glad they're not together anymore because... Literally, she didn't deserve him, in my opinion. She did not deserve him at all. He was too good of a person, just period. Um, Kathy Yarbrough, 9443, says, questions first. Okay, all right, you want to do the questions? Uh, e. Troy, 2045, says, I'm in North Carolina, and we couldn't see the eclipse, but we did have something that looked like a shadow over the sun for a few minutes. Yeah, that, that was exactly what happened here. And then the sun came back out. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Joanna Aguilar 4961 says, Pico, Pico de Gallo jingle. Sounds like a cockroach jingle, but in English, not in Spanish. <laughs> what? What is a cockroach jingle, girl? <laughs> um... Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, When my mama said no, that was it. Don't you ask why. Okay. That's how we grew up back in the day. But, baby, these kids nowadays, honey, they are asking why. And when you tell them why, they like, uh, th that's not a good enough freaking answer for them. Girl, I literally, oh, my God. Anyway, Kathy also says, them tacos. If I lived around you, I would pay for those tacos. LOL, they look so good, girl. They were. They literally were. Um... Doris McNeely says, hey, yummy. No, she says, hey, yummy bites. Hey, girl. Uh, happy Tuesday. Tacos look delicious. Yummy, are the tacos flour or corn? It sounds so crunchy and delicious. Corn. It's a low-carb uh, corn tortilla. Yep, yep, yep. Um, let's see. Queen B. Jones 8404 says, inches on top of inches. I see you. <laughs> Thank you for being so vulnerable. You're welcome, girl. Um, I was not allowed to sleep over. Uh, my mom did not trust my mother sucker. No, no. My mom did not trust a mother sucker. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, those were the days when we would fight and want to be friends afterwards. Exactly, girl! <laughs> so easy to be friends again like oh my god it was so weird i knew um manish kids but uh i stayed far far away my mama was not to be played with girl yeah my friends that you know were a little oh hey uh i didn't i didn't tell my parents you know how they were because I knew that they wouldn't let me anywhere around them, you know. So, thank God I wasn't influenced, you know what I'm saying, to do the things that uh, they were doing. Because, girl, oh, my God. The stories I could tell about <laughs> some of the friends that I had and what they were doing when we were just kids, okay? Mm. Um... Tawana Jackson 2814 says, LOL, I done told you already, yummy. If I went on a dating show, <laughs> Tawana most definitely get picked. <laughs> but I couldn't even.
even do no show like that because she said because uh if you ugly when they <laughs> when they <laughs> when they open that door I'm leaving. I'm not even about to play them games, girl. I know that's right. Because I couldn't even fake and, like, run to them and hug them and kiss them like if they not cute. I'm sorry. It's very important for you to be a looker. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? All the other stuff is important, too. Like, you got to have all that. And you have to look nice. Like, I got to be able to look at you and be like, yes, honey. You know? <laughs> I don't want to have to work with you. I don't want to have to work with you <laughs> as far as that goes. I'm sorry. Call me what you want to. I don't care. Uh, Tawana E. Jackson says, um, I love some good plastic plates and utensils. Exactly. Because um, who feel like cooking then wash the dishes? Nobody. Like, lady, I ain't even watched uh, it and it's. Making me mad. It girl, it's gonna make you so mad when she do that to that man. Like he was supposed to go and buy dishes so she could see him in in his cabinet. Girl, girl, the nerve of that girl! I swear to God. Uh, Kathy Yarbrough, uh, nine four four three says, "Love that crunch. Your hair looks so good. Thank you, girl. Uh, beautiful as always. Thank you, Kathy." Excuse me, Nina Hill says, black people tacos, I'm cracking up. Love you, yummy. Love you, too. <laughs> um, Tawana says, yes, hunty, that crunch be everything, girl, it do. Like, I absolutely love it. <laughs> uh, Tawana Jack says, girl, I kept running in and out the house and, did not, and didn't see not a thing. I'm in California, so yeah, we wasn't able to see it. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Rihanna Mimi says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. I did see the eclipse. Me and my oldest son. It was cool to watch. Um, now the crying lady, I'm thinking that was biblical. But when she says it's a massacre going to happen in Texas, um, she straight up lost me. That's where she lost me too. I didn't understand that. Um, biblical speaking, um, the churches are talking it's way too much going on in the world not to know something is wrong uh no absolutely not having baby mama on cruises no 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 okay they didn't have to be on the same cruise exactly the baby mama is cracking up saying job well done and she never had to lift a finger to uh disrupt the girlfriend's trip okay girl mm 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 yeah, he would be a goner. Just like that girl said, she was like, uh, you can go be with your baby mama at this point. Like, I ain't got nothing else to say to you. Straight up. OMG Yee says, hey, gorgeous. Hey, girl. Yummy. F and them tacos. <laughs> Come on, Pink Panther. <laughs> girl, your ass is crazy. You are so silly. I'm about to make me some daggone tacos. She's that eclipse just made it dark as hell over here. There's so many funny TikToks behind that eclipse, girl. I know I was seeing them too. I felt calm and sleepy as it was passing. It was weird. Did you really? I kept nodding um, at my desk. Glad you got your car back too. Thank you, girl. I'm ready for some car mug bangs. And that's why I wanted to ask y'all: Do y'all want to see some car mug bangs? Because yeah, well, you know, I have to find me a spot to be able to eat. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, is keto friendly. But, yes, girl, I am ready for the car mukbangs. Y'all let me know if y'all are. Let me know in the comments. Um, Let's see. Courtney Marie's mom says, I remember that game, Chase. And, yes, it was in elementary school. The baby mama was on the cruise. Oh, hell no. Nah. There's no way I'm going to be on a cruise with some someone's baby mama. Have wine tomorrow and on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, do the alcohol thing that much. You know what I'm saying? Um, But I wanted to try them, though, on live with y'all. Um, 
you know, maybe we could do a little bit, you know, today and a little bit on Sunday. I don't know, girl. We're going to see. Uh, but they're already open and ready to go. Um, let's see. Slither these says, when the guys chased us, we call that catch a girl, get a girl. Really? Wait a minute. The, the what the name of it just came to me um oh my god somebody get it or or I can't it just slipped my mind again anyway uh let's see Keisha three four six eight says tacos look good thank you girl uh user xr 504zz7b says i watched the eclipse perfect view you can record it if you put the uh eclipse glasses up to the camera part of the phone yeah i heard about that i heard about that and i heard that they actually had like eclipse glasses for phones uh specifically um stephanie tremiar 9565 says you look so lovely thank you girl um, Mila Leggett 9890 says, Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you too, sis. Um, Shamika One Full says, uh, Beautiful as always, and food looks delicious. Thank you, sis. Uh, Slitter D's uh, says, Hey, yummy. Hey, girl. I started watching at the eclipse at uh, 1245. The totality happened at around 2. Really? How did it? Because they said that it started at 1230. How did it happen around? Because if it, anyway. Uh, you could record, but you um, would have to put the glasses on over your phone lens. My neighbor didn't have any glasses. I let her peek through mine. She was amazed and so was I. You definitely couldn't see it without the glasses. Again, I'm in St. Louis. Okay, okay. Um. Did y'all feel any kind of way? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, OMG, you said she felt like a calming, something calming that came over her. Let me know, did y'all feel anything when y'all saw it? Um, user XR504ZZ7B says, uh, you happy every day. That's the sign of being blessed. Beautiful lady. Um, Lynetta Robertson, all the way from Parsons, Tennessee. Shout me out. Shout you out, girl. Shout out to um, Lynetta Robertson. Is it? Ro yeah, Robertson in Parsons, Tennessee. Shout out to you, sis. Um, Riri Love 1962 says, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment or suggestion down below. Yummy Bites would love to hear what you got to say. Thanks and have a great day. Y'all do what she said. Thank you so much, Riri. We sure appreciate you. Um, Leslie Sis says, oh, I already read that. Uh, Courtney Marie's mom says, hey, girl. Hey, sis. Happy Taco Tuesday. Thank you, sis. I'm here for the scrumptious tacos and that good Taco Tuesday tea. I know that's right, girl. <laughs> I know that's right. Uh, Latoya Williams, 1358 says, I love the crunch. Don't y'all love that? Like, I just live for that. Uh, Vlicious Dinners, 5713 says, yes. Yes, girl. Uh, LaShawn, 1901 says, yummy. Um, Michael Stewart says, the food looks awesome. Love your hair. Thank you so much, Michael. Uh, Rose Miles, 865 says, uh, number two. Is that what that is? Or a no two? Number two? Hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Happy Taco Tuesday. Enjoy your day. They look delicious and you look amazing. Also, have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Um, Latoya Williams, 1358 says, those tacos look awesome. Thank you so much. And y'all, that is the last comment, baby. We about to go live. We about to go all the way live. Oh my God, it's been so long. Y'all, y'all already know the lettuce uh, wrap burger was a 10 out of 10, okay?
10 out of 10. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, I gotta look at my glass. Um, and yeah, oh, and follow me over on the Family Vlog channel. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, I'm in love with these. They just too long though. They really are too long. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now, you hear? Bye, y'all. I hope y'all get the live. I hope y'all catch it, okay? Because we about to do it right now. Let me go get my, um, my tripod. We got the one proper baby. Ah, let me see if I got any. Yeah, trying to make sure my lip gloss was still on.